हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू शिव ज्योति एजुकेशनल ग्रुप कोटा माय सेल्फ जिज्ञासा प्रजापति प्रेजेंटिंग हियर क्लास फोर्थ कंप्यूटर साइंस वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर थर्ड दैट इज कंप्यूटर मेमोरी एंड स्टोरेज डिवाइसेस स्टूडेंट्स ओपन चैप्टर थर्ड ऑफ योर कंप्यूटर बुक एट पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी थर्ड ओके सो स्टूडेंट टू टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अप दीज टॉपिक्स मेमरी टाइप्स primary memory secondary memory followed by book exercises okay so students i hope all you have open your computer book at page number 23 students let's start with the introduction of this chapter okay students we use computer to store text documents images video and audio files for that computer has a memory okay computer ke paas memory hoti hai to store various data and information now this memory is the capacity of a computer to store data and information called its memory to aapki memory kya hoti hai the capacity of a computer to store the data and the information next when you give instruction to the computer students all you know we give instruction to the computer by using the input devices like keyboard mouse these instructions get converted into a language known as machine language students why we need to convert it because computer is a machine computer aapki machine hai and it can only understand the machine language it can directly understand the machine language okay but the most important thing about the machine language is machine language is in the form of zeros and ones and these zeros and ones are called binary digits so zero or one aapke kya hote they are called binary digits okay next a computer's memory is measured in bytes okay so computer ki jo memory hoti hai usko hum kaise measure karte hain in bytes okay a byte consists of a group of 8 bits or we can say 8 bits made a single byte theek hai to one byte mein aapka kitne bits hote hain students we have 8 bits okay next other units of measuring the computer's memory are kilobytes that is also known as kb megabyte that is mb and next we have gigabytes that is also known as gb students hum sab daily life mein internet use karte hain in the mobile phone we are using the internet and the data pack are comes in the form of gb like we have 1 gb data per day we have 2 gb data per day so that gb stand for gigabyte okay so, so students now we discuss memory types this this chart shows the types of memory we have memory which are which is divided into two types primary memory and secondary memory primary memory is mainly used to store the data and information running in the computer so when we are using the computer hum jab computer use karte hain to hum jo bhi program uh, jis bhi program pe work karte hain wo basically aapka kis mein store hota hai it is stored in the primary memory we have two types of primary memory ram stands for random access memory and we have rom stands for read only memory and we have secondary memory in the secondary memory we have some storage devices to store the data which are externally connected to the computer okay so let's discuss each type of memory one by one this is the types of primary memory our first type is read only memory that is rom it is used to store the data and information permanent rom rom is essentially required for the working of the computer it can store the data permanently you can only read the information from the rom one more thing about the rom that is data is stored on the rom chips which are placed inside the system cabinet rom chip ke andar data kab store hota hai student when the computer is manufactured theek hai jab aapka computer companies ke andar manufactured hota hai jab wo banta hai same time par rom chips ko design kiya jata hai usme data store hota hai next we have random access memory that is ram it is used to store the data and information temporarily which is the basic difference between the rom and ram okay so ram store the data and information temporarily for the temporary period of time here you can read and write the information theek hai to ram mein we can read and write the information that's why it is also known as read and write memory okay so ram is also known as read and write memory to hum ram ko read and write memory bhi bolte hain okay students next 
we have secondary memory. Secondary memory is also called external memory because we use storage devices to store the data which are externally connected to the computer because the storage devices are not placed inside the system cabinet. They are used to store data permanently, okay? So, jo, aapke jo bhi storage devices hoti hai, they are used to store the data permanent for the permanent time. The different types of external storage devices are hard disk, CD, DVD, Blu-ray disk and pen drive and many more. In this chapter, we will discuss these five devices in detail, okay? So, let us start our first device that is hard disk. Students, we all know hard disk is placed inside the system cabinet, okay? And it is used to store a large amount of data. It has a very large storage capacity, okay? Iske paas bahut jyada large capacity hoti hai store data ko store karne ke liye. That's why it can store a large amount of data in the form of GBs or TBs that is stand for terabytes. All the programs required for working of a computer are stored on the hard disk. It means uh, every software or program like we are playing game on the computer. So, the games are stored and installed on the computer in the hard disk, okay? Students, our next storage device is CD. It stands for compact disk. So, what is the full form of CD? CD ke full form kya hoti hai students? Compact disk. It is a portable storage device. It means you can carry it with yourself and transfer the data from one computer to another computer. Okay, CDs ko aap saath hold kar sakte hain. That's why it is called the portable device. Can it store up to 700 MB data. So CD aapki kitne MB ka data store kar sakti hai? Maximum 700 MB. MB stand for megabyte. We have various types of CDs available. Here we have three types of CDs. First, CD-ROM stands for Compact Disk, Compact Disk Read Only Memory. This CD-ROM, by using this CD-ROM, we can only read data from a CD-ROM, but you can, but you cannot write on it. It means CD-ROM से हम सिर्फ data को read कर सकते हैं, use कर सकते हैं, but we cannot write the data, we cannot modify the data. ठीक है? आप उस पे कुछ extra लिख नहीं सकते उस data के ऊपर, ना ही आप उसे remove कर सकते हैं. Next type of CD is CD-R stands for Compact Disk Recordable. Here R stands for Recordable. Data can be written only once which cannot be erased from CD-R. Okay, it means uh, the example of CD-R like music CDs. Okay, music CDs mein kya hota? we have music, we can listen the music but we can not store the, uh, we cannot store new music uh, file on that CD. Okay, so we can, data can be written only once. So, aapke paas jo market mein jo aapke music CD hoti hai, usme sirf data ek bar store hota hai. We cannot again store the data. Next, CDRW stands for Compact Disk Rewritable. Here, RW stands for Rewritable. It means ki aap CDs pe data ko fir se store kar sakte hai. You can store data on it and can also erase it. It means data ko aap ek bar store kar sakte hai. You can remove it and you can ago again store the new data on this CDRW. Okay. So, these are the three types of this CD storage device. Students, our next storage device is DVD. Students, DVD stands for Digital Versatile Disc. Okay. So, DVD ke full form kya hoti hai students? Digital versatile disk. It stores a large amount of data than CD. So, CD se jada data ka hum store karna hai, then I will use DVD. Okay? It can store data up to 4.7 GB. So, kitne GB ka data hum DVD ke andar store kar sakta hai? It can store 4.7 GB. GB stand for here again, gigabyte. Next storage device students, we have Blu-ray disk. Okay? It can store more data than DVD. If I want to store more data than DVD, agar mujhe 4.7 GB se data jyada store karna then I have to use Blu-ray disc, okay? It is capable of storing high definition video content. It means 
इट इज़ डेफिनेटली स्टूडेंट अगर आपके पास कोई वीडियो है जिसकी क्वालिटी बहुत अच्छी है उसकी विजिबिलिटी बहुत अच्छी है इट मीन्स कि वो आपके पास हाई डेफिनेशन वीडियो है तो उसकी जो साइज़ है उसकी जो मेमोरी है वो बहुत ज़्यादा होगी इट मे बी वन जी बी इट मे बी ऑफ टू जी बी थ्री जी बी देन वी कैन यूज ब्लू रे डिस्क टू स्टोर हाई डेफिनेशन वीडियो कंटेंट ओके स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स आर नेक्स्ट स्टोरेज डिवाइस इज पेन ड्राइव वी ऑल नो अबाउट द पेन ड्राइव पेन ड्राइव इज द पोर्टेबल स्टोरेज डिवाइस विच वी कैन कैरी विद आर सेल्फ एंड ट्रांसफर एंड यूज टू ट्रांसफर डेटा फ्रॉम वन कंप्यूटर टू अनादर कंप्यूटर और टू अनर और टू अनादर डिवाइसेज इट इज अ स्मॉल पोर्टेबल डिवाइस पोर्टेबल वी ऑल अंडरस्टैंड वट इज अ पोर्टेबल इट मीन्स यू कैन कैरी इट विद योर सेल्फ और उसके अलावा आप अपने साथ रख सकते हैं उसमें डेटा स्टोर करके एक कंप्यूटर से दूसरे कंप्यूटर पर ट्रांसफर भी कर सकते हैं इट इज स्टोर ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा दैन सी डीज एंड डी वी डीज तो सी डी और डी वी डी से भी ज़्यादा डेटा हम पेन ड्राइव के अंदर स्टोर कर सकते हैं अब पेन ड्राइव कैन स्टोर अ डेटा अप टू सिक्सटी फोर जी बी ओके तो मैक्सिमम सिक्सटी फोर जी बी का डेटा वी कैन स्टोर इन द पेन ड्राइव दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड फ्लैश ड्राइव बिकॉज पेन ड्राइव आर वेरी फास्टर दैन अदर स्टोरेज डिवाइसेज एंड प्रोवाइड मोर रिलायबिलिटी दैन अदर स्टोरेज डिवाइसेज दैट्स वाई पेन ड्राइव कॉल्ड फ्लैश ड्राइव ओके स्टूडेंट्स आई होप स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस चैप्टर नाउ वी विल सॉल्व द बुक एक्सरसाइज फॉर द बुक एक्सरसाइज टेक आउट द शार्प पेंसिल एंड ओपन योर बुक एट पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ओके सो दिस इज योर बुक एक्सरसाइज ऑल यू हैव ओपन द बुक नाउ टेक द पेंसिल स्टूडेंट्स आर फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज इज टेक द करेक्ट वन In this question, you have to choose the correct answer and put the right mark over the correct answer. Our first question is zero and one are called dash digits. Students, we have already discussed in the introduction slide that zero and one both are the binary digits, and machine language has zeros and ones. Okay, so our correct answer is binary. You have to put right mark over the binary. Next question is hard disk is fixed inside the dash. Options are UPS, system cabinet, monitor. Students, we all know hard disk is a storage device which is placed inside the system cabinet. आपका जो system cabinet होता है computer का उसके अंदर hard disk placed होती है fixed होती है तो यहाँ पर आपके पास answer क्या होगा System cabinet. So put the right mark here. Next question is Which of the following is a permanent memory? So you have to find out कौन सा ऑप्शन जो है वो आपका परमानेंट मेमरी है ऑप्शन आर रैम स्टूडेंट्स रैम इज नॉट द प्राइमरी रैम इज नॉट द परमानेंट मेमरी इट इज़ अ टेम्परेली मेमरी ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव रोम रोम इज़ अ टाइप ऑफ परमानेंट मेमरी बिकॉज इज इट कैन स्टोर द डेटा एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन परमानेंटली सो योर करेक्ट आंसर इज रोम फॉर द राइट मार्क है स्टूडेंट्स Next question is which of the following is odd and the options are CD DVD and RAM we know students CD and DVD both are the types of storage devices and here RAM RAM is a type of primary memory so this one is odd put the right mark on the RAM next question is which can store a large amount of data than others okay so you have to find out which device is used to store the large amount of data the options are pen drive hard disk and blue ray disk see students yahan par jo teeno option hai all are used to store the data but the hard disk hard disk is used to large amount of data it can store the data in the form of gbs or tbs terabyte okay so your correct answer is hard disk put the right mark here students our next exercise is fill in the blanks so you have to fill this these fill in the blanks from the given option okay our first fill up is dash holds the data temporarily students we have two types of primary memory ram and rom ram holds the data temporarily whereas rom holds the data permanently so your correct answer here is ram you have to write ram in the capital letters okay next we have a computer understands only dash language students we know computer is a machine computer aapke paas machine hoti hai which can only understand the machine language okay the machine language ko directly understand karta hai and machine language is in the form of zeros and ones 
So your correct answer is machine. Write the machine here. Next, a dash is a small portable device used to store a huge amount of data. Okay. So we have to write a, a small portable device. So it's where we have to find out which portable, small portable device is there, which through we can store the huge amount of data. Students, pen drive. Pen drive is a small portable device, which through we large amount of data store kar sakte because a pen drive can store up to 64 GB of data. Okay, so your answer is pen drive. Next question, sorry, next fill up is dash memory is an electronic memory. Students, primary memory is an electronic memory because it stores the data on the computer and it is required, it is essential for the working of the computer. So, primary is the answer, write the primary here. Students, our next exercise is write capital T for the true and capital F for the false statements. Okay, so these are our statements. First statement is these are three types, sorry, there are three types of primary memory. Students, we have already discussed primary memory has two types, okay, RAM and ROM. So, this statement is false. You have to write here capital F. Next statement is uh, one byte consists of eight bits. We have already discussed it in the introduction slide that eight bit, eight bits made up single bytes. So, this statement is true. Eight byte consists of eight bits definitely. So, you have to write here T. Next, a DVD can store data up to 4.7 GB. Students, this is the true statement because we have discussed a DVD which is the type of storage secondary memory or we can say it is a type of storage device can store data up to 4.7 GB. Here GB stand for gigabyte. This statement is also true. So, you have to write capital T here students. Next statement is a pen drive is a portable storage device. We have already discussed students pen drive aapke paas sabse, uh, sorry pen drive is a small portable device to store the huge amount of data. So, this statement is also true. You have to write here capital T. Students, our next exercise is match the following columns. We have two columns, column A and column B. In the column B, we have images of different storage devices and we have to find out their name. So, first name is Blu-ray disc. We have seen in our slides this. This is the Blu-ray disc, okay? Next student, we have DVD. From these devices, from these images, we have this image of DVD. So, this is the correct answer. Next, we have pen drive. Students, we can see this is the last image, is, this is the image of pen drive, okay. So, this is the pen drive. So, you can write 3, which is the number of pen drive. Next, we have students hard drive. From these images, we can see this is, this is the first image of hard drive. So, you have to write here 4, which is the number of this hard disk, okay. This is. So, students, I hope you all have understood this chapter. Thank you, students.